Hey everybody, Jake here with TrendSpider, and today we are going to go over the new Trendline Preferences feature. And uh, essentially what that is, is it is an area on the system that you can go into and change the predefined sets that we have created. So um, there's three different variables. We have analysis type, drawing input, and islands. And uh, we'll get to islands here in a second. But essentially analysis type, you can pick from original, enhanced, and experimental. And these are all going to be a little different. Um, enhanced is going to be a little more sensitive, so it's going to catch some of those lines that our original analysis um, settings that we always have used may not catch. And so um, you can choose from any three of these. If you want to do experimental, this is kind of something new we've added. You can choose uh, your drawing input next, which would be either WIC or body. And that's essentially having the system look for WIC to WIC which on the candlestick is this area here, or body to body, which is this area of the candlestick here. So that is the second variable. In this case, we'll just pick wick. And the third variable is islands. And what islands are is essentially there are areas on the chart that there's a gap. So in this case, right here, there's a gap down for price. And so this is the start of an island. And then we have a gap up. So that is the end of an island. And so what that does is it just kind of tweaks how the system is going to look at the trend lines and draw them. And so you can choose to respect or not. And a lot of this could be um, users really just kind of toying around and seeing what inputs on the system they like best. There's no right way to draw a trend line or wrong way. It's just really up to the strategy of the individual trader. So in this case, we will click apply. And these are the current trend lines that the system is finding based on these preferences. In order to change them, just simply go to the drop down menu, pick another one, and just make sure to click apply, and that will then for sure change the lines, and uh, then you have a new uh, kind of view of the chart. If there's too many lines, you can always remove them simply by removing the trend line here. It will go away, and you can remove as many as you'd like. You can also lock them by simply double clicking them, by locking the trend line, that will uh, create a black line. And this is really, you don't really need to use it for this once the trends are on most relevant. But what you may need it for is when we go to the manual tuning mode. And so um, it's a little different before we had a manual tuning button here. Now we have a drop down menu and we have more lines and then all lines. This is our new manual tuning mode. And you essentially just click more lines if you'd like to enter that mode. This is going to give quite a few lines on the chart and you simply just go to the line you'd like it's then highlighted you double click it it is then locked into the chart and then you go back to most relevant and then all of these lines will disappear and only that line will then stay on the chart so this is very helpful as well if you'd like to add a little of the uh, personalization side to the chart and uh, you can also personalize even more going to the advanced settings if you really want to get into it and you can even change these settings even more which will kind of personalize how the system looks for trend lines even more. Always click apply and the trend lines will then uh, be shown on the chart. And um, that is pretty much our new trend line feature. We'd love to hear your comments and experiences and uh, you can always do that on social media. Any of those social media platforms we will um, respond to and uh, hope you like this new feature and enjoy it. Thanks so much for listening in.